everybody, it's Dr. Haugen here with Big Stone Chiropractic, and I'm sitting here with Tom. And I wanted to share kind of his story and what he went through because I think it's a, it's actually kind of common for a lot of people, and they don't always recognize or find the source of what's causing their their pain or their issues. So um, let's let him tell kind of what was going on. So what was going on? So I had um, some stress, and I had some problems with stomach acid yeah. and I had I felt like pinched nerves in my back which was very excruciating so it caused a lot of uh, I didn't have any patience with anything it was so excruciating that I had a hard time breathing without pain so I was taking shallow, really shallow breaths. And uh, I went into the ER three times. And they couldn't figure out what was wrong. But they gave me some, uh, I can't remember what they called it. That's all right. But that took the pain away after like 20 minutes. And it caused a lot of emotional problems. Yeah. Um, I would, I couldn't hardly do anything because I was in so much pain all the time. It was excruciating to sneeze and. Every time I coughed, it was horrible pain. Mm -hmm. And there was quite a few times when I had a gun to my head. Uh, it was hard on relationships. Yeah. So when pain gets that bad, life just is not fun to try to, to live anymore. It wasn't worth living. Yeah. And so we, we, we saw you probably in like October maybe for the first time, you think? I think so, yeah. Somewhere in there. And, and now it's about Christmas time. Um, and before before we saw you, you had been, you know, several other places, right? So I mean, you'd seen other chiropractors. I went through like three other chiropractors. I had uh, nerves burned in my back. And so this had been going on for a while, right? About three years. Yeah, about three years. You're, you're kind of going through this off and on. Yep. And you get some help with different things here and there, but you could never really get rid of the problem, right? Right. Um, and so what uh, What kind of finally started to change? We, went, what, what, we kind of connected some different dots, right? So. You know, if something's not working, like you go to the chiropractor and you're not starting to feel better, or maybe you feel a little bit better, but you never completely get over it, it's time to start looking at maybe something else is causing the issue, right? So that's that's kind of the approach we took. And a lot of times, um, what can do this is if you have an inflammatory response coming somewhere else in the body. So for him, we really looked at he was having some, some stomach issues too. And so um, you were on antacids or not? I was taking ranitidine or three other prescriptions trying things to reduce the acid in my stomach. Yep. And because uh, I had a lot of reflux also. Yep. And so he was he was dealing with stomach issues, reflux, taking antacids, and that was helping kind of with the stomach acid a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times what that'll do is it still allows the inflammatory response to go on because you actually need stomach acid to digest that food. Um, and so what we started to do is we, we changed that up a little bit. Um, instead of trying to get the stomach acid down as low as we possibly can, which will get rid of the burn and get rid of reflux, but then it also creates other problems in the body. So um, we started to look at things um, to get his stomach acid levels back up. So um, really, so, so what kind of tell us what you did then, how, how we go about it. So uh, you told me to Cut down on the pop, yeah. which 
I eliminated that altogether. <clears throat> and I quit drinking the coffee. Yeah, because coffee can really lead to minerals, so like your sodium, potassium, magnesium. And so he wanted to get rid of these things that could be making this problem right. worse, so that's why he did that. Yeah. And he did a great job. And I increased my potassium and my sodium. Mm -hmm. And then I was taking electrolytes and uh, some uh, magnesium pills yep. Yep. twice a day. And, uh, and we, we never even had to supplement with more acid, did we? No. No. And you've gone, are you using any antacids right now? No, I so not. quit almost the first. Right after we talked about yeah, it. Right after the first yep. uh, visit. Yep. And slowly, so at that point in time, you had upper back pain, you had low back pain, pretty intense, you had reflux. And so what started to happen as you made those changes as the weeks went by? Um, it just slowly went away. Yeah. Your body just started to heal, right? Started to do the right things. Yeah. Um, and what was, when you came in the first time, you said, all I want to be able to do this winter is just be able to go ice fishing, right? I mean, that was the big goal that we looked at. And he was just telling me, he got the, the house out and he's getting it ready, right? Yeah. And right now you're basically pain-free, right? Um, so he's, he's pretty much pain-free. Um, and then his reflux is gone all by making some simple lifestyle choices. Um, and that's the power of getting to the root of the problem. If you're doing something and it's sort of working, maybe not working, you got, might have to look a little bit further. So it's not that we blame the, the chiropractic or something that didn't work before, because it, it did help a little bit and um, it helped him to reduce that pain level, but there was more than that going on. So um, I wanna thank him for being you know brave enough to share his story, because there's a lot of people who I believe that the stomach acid issue, the antacids are causing inflammation, are causing a lot of these joint pain issues. And if you would fix that, I think a lot of you out there could get some relief possibly. So it's something to look at, something to be aware of. So thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely.